Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I have been missing for a long time. The plan the whole time was to post, but as soon as January hit, life has just been happening until now. So my apologies for going quiet, but in this video, I just wanted to show you how I keep my hair moisturized for up to seven days at least and also how I keep my scalp clean in between washes for up to three months. This is not planned. I am actually a monthly washer, but as life would have it, I am not always able to. So I tend to wash my hair now anything between one to three months. So don't judge me, it's not going to change. That's just what my life is right now. So. If you're interested, stay and watch this video. I show you what I do, what I use, and I also show you how I use it in my hair. So now that you've seen what my scalp looks like after two months, here is what my hair looks like after taking down those twists. As you can see, my hair is still very moisturized. The curls are popping. The only thing about this mixture that I found was that it made my hair very gummy, like it felt a little bit sticky and I think that's because I was using too much glycerin in my mixture. So that's the only thing I need to change but the moisture game has been blown out of the park. This is what my hair was looking like in December and I still hadn't washed it around this time. So I went from washing my hair on the 24th of September, and then I didn't wash it again until the 27th of December. So now that you've seen the results, let's go and look at the ingredients that I use, how I use it, and how often I use it. So first I go in with fenugreek seeds, then I follow up with the horse steel herb. Horse steel herb is rich in silica. I go in with amla, one of my favorite herbs. Then moringa powder. Then I go in with organic rosemary herb, then some black coffee. Then I go in with neem powder, ashwagandha powder, shikaikai powder, indigo leaf powder, hibiscus powder, henna, marshmallow root powder, slippery elm, and then I go in with some hot water. So the marshmallow root, slippery elm, and the fenugreek give me a lot of slip, and I love that. So I made two different teas i only showed you one so this one to the left has henna and hibiscus and then the one to the right has no henna or hi hibiscus and a few of the other herbs i'll show you a variation of this soon so here are both teas infused over a couple of hours i'd say about two hours and now i am ready to pour them into my spray bottle so as you can see this is the one that has the henna in there and it's very red and then this is the one that has no henna that's like more of a, a basic recipe <laughs> so yeah i think if you had red hair this is perfect but this is for anyone with like brown dark hair so yeah, I am going to, I think I'm going to put this in my smaller spray bottle and then this in my bigger one. So in here, I have aloe vera juice that I have blended from the pulp of the aloe vera plant. So like this, I cut it up and I squeezed the, the little pulp inside of it and blended it to get this. So I'm going to sieve this and then add this to it and then go in with a tiny little bit of MSM and then we're going to add glycerin to finish it off so let's go so using this muslin I'm going to save the hair tea 
so I like to have everything settle and then just pour out the solution on its own because it has blocked my spray bottle in the past especially with the powders in there so I'm very weary of that So I've decided to just mix it, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go in with the aloe vera juice. Okay, so that's the aloe vera juice. I didn't use all of this, I used about half. So I've put the rest in with the aloe vera juice and then I'm going to put that in the freezer for next time. I'm going to defrost it when I need it. So that's going in the freezer. So what I've learned from making this hair tea is that I've been using way too much glycerin and it makes my hair go quite sticky. So I'm just literally going to pour like a tiny bit in there. So it should be 2% of your, of all of your recipe. I'm just gonna eyeball it and put. Then we're going to follow up with the MSM. So here's the MSM. So I'm gonna put this much in there. I'd say that's probably like half a teaspoon and then for this one I'm going to put a bit less in there. So shake, shake, shake and then I will put this on my scalp and then moisturise. I'll probably have to show you that later. If you don't want it to be this red color don't use hibiscus and don't use henna so this is a variation of the second one that had no henna or hibiscus and i love this one because it doesn't stain so if you don't like the staining of hibiscus and henna this recipe would be great for you so it's star anise fenugreek seeds sage horsetail some black coffee and rosemary and I also add marshmallow root in there and this is what I get it's very moisturizing it has a lot of slip and I just love it so if you don't like the color of the other one try this recipe so now I'm going to show you how I apply it to my hair so this is hair that's about six weeks old and what I do is once I moisturize it I put it in a bun um, as you've seen so there was two twists that I took down and I am just going to spray my hair until my heart's desire so here I'm just showing you what my scalp looks like after six weeks of no wash and just moisturizing my hair every couple of days This is the ends and that's due to the mucilage in the tea that I've been using. My hair stays moisturized for at least seven days. So I've warmed up the, the tea. I took it out of the, the freezer and it was pretty hot. <laughs> but you need your tea to be warm so that it can raise the cuticles of your hair to actually make way for the leave-in conditioner or moisturizer that you're going to use later so I really make sure that I get this spray everywhere on my head my scalp my hair my ends literally no place is missed
<laughs> this water is so warm <laughs> because I um, I put it in some hot water to warm up. I took it out of the fridge and it's literally burning my scalp. I didn't realize it'd be this warm. But it feels nice. I also like to squeeze the the water into my hair and I do this with any products that I apply to my hair if it's twisted up and squeezing it in just makes sure that the product is squeezed into the middle parts of the hair that may not be possible if I had just rubbed it down the length of my hair so make sure that you squeeze the product in or the tea in because it's really really important to make sure that the product gets everywhere so this water actually has some mucilage in there very very slimy well not very slimy but it's got a little bit of slime to it and i guess that's why my ends are looking defined if you can see I love it. So this is a new recipe that I am trying. <laughs> so I've used more than half and I make sure I drench my hair till it's like almost wet. Um, and then I'm going to go in and massage. Massage the spray into my scalp whilst I'm sort of um, smoothing down the root of my hair, sort of in the direction that the hairs lay. I'm gonna do this again um, when I'm oiling my scalp as well. But this is just to get the. This is just to get the solution working into my scalp to really moisturize it i just love how this feels i'm definitely going to stick to this recipe i love love it so much and i just love what it did to my hair as well So this is hair that is, um, I think six weeks old. I will confirm um, and put the date on the screen, but it's been a few weeks since I washed and did these twists. And all I've been doing is moisturizing like this at least once or twice a week. And as you can see, when I showed you before, my scalp was very clean. Um, I've not washed my hair since then. Um, yeah, so this thing keeps my scalp clean. I have MSM in my solution and I think it works to to really break down um, the dead skin on my scalp so yeah so now that the, the solution has all been soaked up into my hair I am going to moisturize the length of my hair and I'm using this intense curl cream by Moroccan oil they gifted me this years ago and I'm just using it just to um, get it out of the way it's okay I like the consistency but you just look at how my curls are popping just from using that spray that is crazy just look look at that my hair loves it so yeah, I'm definitely going to keep doing this, this recipe. 
she so it's it's not too heavy and it's not too light it's just sort of like a good midpoint in heaviness Some more. I'm definitely not stingy with the with the cream. So next I'm going to go in with my Ayurveda infused oil, I have a video of this but I've not edited and posted it, if you want me to edit and post let me know, this is a very very potent oil as you can see by the colour, it has a lot of herbs in it and the ratio of herbs to oil is like I'd say two to one, so two herbs or your one, so it's a lot. And then I follow up with this almond glaze. It's a proper butter. Excuse how it looks in there. Um, well, it's like a hair grease, but better. That's how I like to call it. <laughs> so grease. Follow up with. So this is what I use to seal in the moisture concentrating this on the ends I love the oils that was made um, that was used to make that balm okay so now that my hair is all done and sealed I am then gonna go in and oil my scalp with my Ayurveda herbal oil. So this is it. This is one that I've mixed for my scalp. So I know for a lot of people, this will be way too much product for their hair, but my hair, as I've found over the years, loves to be weighed down. Like when I have a twist out and I use like a really light product, the style just doesn't give. So my hair loves to be weighed down. It loves thick creams, butters, all of that. Give me all of it. My hair will lap it all up. <laughs> so this is perfect for me. It's never too much. So definitely adjust it to what your hair and scalp can take. Um, but definitely using the MSM in my solution definitely helps clear my scalp from some of the heavy oils because before I started using MSM to my solution in August, my scalp started getting a bit sore and I think it's because it just had too much product in there and as soon as I started using the MSM it cleared. So definitely experiment with different formulations of this tea and you know 
do your own research into using MSM and see if it will work for you but definitely experiment because there's so many different ways to make a herb tea there's so many different herbs out there that you can use so yeah have fun with it so after that I go in and massage my scalp I love 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 massaging my scalp I know that like there's a particular way that they do these head massages in Ayurveda but I don't know how to do that I haven't bothered to look into it but I've seen people do it properly maybe one day I'll learn and do it properly but as of now this is how I do it and it works for me So yeah, this is the end result and I am just going to put it up in a bun. So I throw it up in a ponytail and then I divide the ponytail into two halves. I twist both halves and then wrap it up into a bun and I keep that bun in until I'm ready to re-moisturize again. And that's it that's my routine and because of just how life would have it i'd prefer to wash my hair every month but i found that probably the last year or two i haven't been able to keep to that routine i find that i go near like three months two months so yeah this routine helps keep my scalp clean no itching and my hair also thrives and stays moisturized so if you want to um, retain length you're a busy natural you don't have a lot of time then definitely try this routine but this routine will be even more perfect if you have the time to also incorporate frequent washes in your hair even if it's like every two weeks or every four weeks it would be perfect so yeah let me know if you will try this or if you already do it and your experience with any of the herbs or MSM and yeah if you have any questions let me know and I shall see you in my next video bye